Salutations, this is Grim Devel, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Caves of Cud. We are in a new version. We're in 204.81. Uh, it's been, I guess even just looking at the version, you can probably tell that it has been a long time since the last play session. Uh, it may not seem that way because you've just been watching this series continuously, likely, if you're watching it, you know, as they come out. But um, there has been a very long time between the last episode... Uh, when I actually recorded it, and this episode. Um, there are a lot of reasons for that, uh, mostly because I, I went on vacation, uh, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom came out, uh, just a lot of work stuff, a lot of just home family stuff, um, but I took a little break, and I'm very glad to be back in uh, in it. Uh, I did re-watch you know, my latest episodes, and Refamiliarize myself with like what we've got going on. We are Tira Shore, the gunslinger. Um, really excited about being back in this character. This has been a really fun character. And it's gonna continue to be. So we are here in in our home of Tunek. Um, and we do need to decide what we're gonna do next. We had talked about, I think, just kind of bopping around exploring a bit. I don't think we're quite ready for Gogotha. Um if we look on the world map here, can I... Yeah, well, there's still that UI bug. I still have to, like, look at the inventory. Um, I should probably just log that. It's possible no one logged it as a bug. Um, we might want to search around the salt marshes a bit. Uh, somewhere in the salt marsh, there is... Uh, there are wings. And that would be really great. Um, we have... Uh, yeah, we've got a bunch of recipes, including a recipe for Dithon World Beam, which is really great. We have Tinkering 2, right? Yes, we have Tinkering 2. Um, it's just a matter of, like, getting the bits. Um, yeah, we need Photonics. We need a 6-bit. Um, so we're going to keep an eye out for that. Uh, programmable Recoiler also would be great. We need 4 bits for that. Yeah, we don't even have uh, one bits. We're out of ones. All right. Uh, yeah, I think maybe bopping around the salt marsh would be fun. We're okay on our encumbrance. Um, yeah, we've got a couple of stun rods we don't really need. Why remove this? Yeah, I think these are mostly just to sell, though. Yeah, this one, too. Really don't need those. Um, yeah, we've got a lot of energy cells, but these are worth a lot. We're pretty good on our value at this point. We've got to get rid of some of these copper nuggets. Let's salt marsh with 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 our friend Eschelstadt. Okay. Uh, these are all hostile, right? Yeah. All right, dong gliders. Um, I'd rather not fight you. You might be terrifying. I mean, Eschelstadt could probably kill you pretty easily. Actually, do I want Eschelstadt to kill them? Um, they're only average. I don't even know if they're going to give us a ton of XP. There's a downstair here. I think we're probably going to ignore them. We regain our bearings. Let's get out of here. Uh, yeah, we discovered a lair. We'll check it out. Chokes near oil. A legendary Isakari Raider. Nice. We're now level 16. We gained a mutation point. Uh, the Isakari should be, uh, neutral to us. So, yeah, we should see what's up. We can get some more reputation with them. Um, I want to level up. Yeah, we have skill points. We have a mutation point. Phasing, we have at 10 rounds. Um, it is nice getting the cooldown lower and the duration higher, but, um, and trouble jointed, we still can't. Uh, increase. I guess the question is, do we want heightened quickness? More heightened quickness? Mm, better burrowing claws? Uh, or more double muscled? Which I think we might want just for the increased chance to daze. I'm gonna, you know, I'm just gonna hang on to the mutation point for now. The skills, though, uh, we do want to save up for Facet's Gun and the Rust. That is true. 
Um, we're okay on the tinkering stuff for now. I mean, we did talk about maybe getting repair. Yep. True. Repair might be good. Um, and short blade stuff. But we don't have good short blades yet. I'm going to hang on to the skill points. Got to hang on to all that stuff. Uh, what did you... Oh, a giant amoeba. Thanks for taking care of that, Eschelstadt. I saw... The other thing is, people have left a lot of comments, and I really... Just FYI, I am reading the comments. I... I have not been doing a good job the past, like, month or so in replying to the comments. I do intend to reply to all the comments. I like replying to the comments. Um, but thank you for continuing to comment, even though I have not been doing that. It really... I do I do like it. I appreciate them all. Um, I think one of the... I think the last episode, someone suggested uh, that they take a shot every time I say Eschelstadt. <laughs> and I thought that was very funny. Um, oh, yeah. Something else that I realized and someone else uh, commented on this too is I had mentioned a couple of episodes ago that I thought that you could burrow downward with claws. Not the case. Uh, not the case as is, but the in the game, there is an option you can select to enable, like, not developer mode, but like um, unfinished features or something like that. And if you enable unfinished features, you can use claws to burrow uh, up and down. I want to whip up a meal. That's what I'm doing over here. Okay. Uh, chain mail. Okay. Uh, I'm going to auto-explore. We'll probably go be going down those stairs over there. Uh, I can just attack this thing. It's fine. Uh, it doesn't even give us any experience. Um, Zar, our folded carbide two-handed battle axe is serving us well. Yeah, okay. Let's stop. Let's just go. Go to the nearest stair down. Come on, Ashlestat. Let's get that. Let's go down. Okay. Oh, I can go up. I can go up, but uh, let's not do that yet. I want to find. Oh, look at all these. The legendary raider. There's no point in fighting all these things. Aha! Here you are. Let's talk to... Uh, before I talk to you. You're hated by fungi, but you're admired by birds, the consortium of Phyta. Um, definitely a, like, overall higher rep for in the game by doing the water ritual with you. Um, let's do it. Cool. We are now favored by the Isakari. Cool. Consortium of Phyta is now above zero. Um, okay. And we can get even more reputation by sharing secrets. And we can learn weathered. All right. Uh, here's the location of the Self-Forgotten Runes. Ruins. Um, here's, the, here's the location of the other legendary Isakari Rifler. And uh, we may not be favored anymore if we do learn weathered, but I want it. Yeah, they're now indifferent to us. Uh, you could join us, but I think we're fine with just Eschelstadt. You have nothing to trade. Yeah, live and drink. You're, yeah, you're average. I mean, you wouldn't be bad, but I just don't think compared with Eschelstadt. Like, I don't know. Too many people can get... Um, Putrescence can get hard to manage. I'm gonna auto explore. Impaled. Okay. Uh, great. Weathered is great. Uh, yeah, we can take care of these guys. Oh, 125 XP. Ah! Let's examine this small box. Crayons! Fantastic. I'll take the arrows, take the meat, leave the longsword. Ah, we've got some inventory space. I'll take it. We may end up dropping it if we find other better, cooler stuff. Okay. Man. Okay. Why did an Isakari rifler hit me? 
They're all... I think it was an accident. Yeah, it was an accident. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna hold it against them. A painted Asakari rifler... A rifle... Um, painted with a scene from the life of the ancient Sultan Nasse. Uh, in 3107 BR, Nasse appointed a corrupt administrator as Minister of Library District Quamritum. Quamritum. He mandated association with fungi in Nasse's name. Okay. Oh, we learned a location. Cool. Uh, of a library. Maybe worth visiting. If it's not too far away. Get some good XP. Painted bronze dagger about Reshef. While traveling near Bethesda Souza, Reshef lost control of his chariot, drove it off a cliff. Uh, a local physician named Rebecca came to his rescue. Moved by her kindness, Reshef enrolled at a nearby hospice as her apprentice. All right, so we got a little bit of loot here. We got some information. Um, hold on, hold on. There, there was a... What's happening? There was a rifle on the ground, which... Oh no, that's the dagger. I think I, I guess some Isakari died here. If there uh, is a rifle, yeah, I think we should just uh, disassemble it for bits. Cool. Okay, and there's something over here. Why didn't I pick it up? What is this? Weird artifact. An electrified bronze dagger. Okay, I guess I'll, I guess I'll take it. Um, what else is here? Bronze dagger. Okay. All right. Cool. Let's go. Let's leave. Have you heard the word of Shrina? Um, wow, what happened to all the Isakari up here? They're all, they're all dead. Are you, you're shooting at the beetle, aren't you? We, and I got in the way. Yeah, the beetle keeps winning these fights. Uh, yeah, disassemble. Disassemble. Okay. Um, since we have crayons, do we paint, do we draw on ourselves? Oh, small gold fleck tube, shade oil injector. Great. Um, where are those crayons? Draw. Um, ah, forget it. No, I don't know. We could draw on, I should, I'm not creative enough to like. To use cramps. <laughs> All right. All right. We are we're lost again, but we are in the salt marsh. And we're going to search around. Where? Oh, okay. Salt marsh should be fairly easy. Um, shouldn't pose a lot of challenge. Um... Oh, we recognize the area here, huh? Uh, yeah, this is the lair of the legendary glowfish. That's cool. Flattened remains. Did we find it? Did we actually just find what I was looking for? Um. Broken tubes. Wire strand. Um, let's treat these as scrap. Let's assemble. Um, scaled sandals of the river wives. What are our current sandals? Painted crocusons. Um, I'll take them. Take this. I think these might be the wings. I think this might be it. Which is... Would be extraordinarily lucky. Uh, I am at this point going to take um, repair. 
which is a tinkering skill. We don't we could have someone else repair it. Oh. All right, that was not helpful. Uh let's go back to town and get it identified. Uh let's eat. Uh, people restock their inventory. What's going on here? Oh. To the tinker. And identify? Yeah! Amazing. All right. You would repair it for just five drams. Maybe we didn't need repair, but um, I don't know. It's nice. It's not that expensive. We should be saving up for dual wielding, though. Honestly. Um, let's see if we can repair it ourselves, though. Where is it? Tools? Armor? Yes. I just need a C and a D. That's fine. Okay, so we save five drams. Uh, and it goes on the back, right? Instead of the Isakari banner, fine. Um, our reputation with Isakari without that is still fine. All right, we're flying now. Um, do I still have fly on control F? I do. Well, now I feel better about going to Golgotha, that's for sure. I can't believe we just found those. We're like, hey, let's let's look around in the salt marshes a little. Maybe we'll get, we get immediately lucky fly um but now where do we want to go let's take a look at our locations uh where is don't look at mar look at uh come read him that we just heard it's very close um yeah let's go to that library all right keep um Exploring. I guess we can attack these snap jaws. Wow. Doo -doo. Okay. Okay. Oh, Eschelstadt. So powerful. We may want to fight Mammon Soul, Mammon Soul Drinker soon, too. That's something we could do. Um, let's make a, f make camp. Still are lost, yep. Ah, uh, we're a flying gunslinger with two hands coming out of their head. All right, so we regained our bearings. Let's keep going. Uh, I will fly. Sure. Check out the lair. Uh, Filja, Legendary Bloated Leech. Gershworms. Okay, um... Gonna land. Getting a little bit of XP here. Oh, back up. I don't want to get messed up here. Poisoned. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to just let Eschelstadt kind of take care of things for a bit. Oh, hello, crab. Um, yeah, we'll just attack the crab. Attack all these Mirthrums one by one. Not giving us a lot of XP at this point, but they're not giving us zero. Okay. Auto Explore. Wait, what am I fighting here? Oh, a Worm of the Earth. Hopefully that's fine. 
Gives us a little bit more XP than the Mirth Worms. Uh, it did crack our chainmail. All right, keep auto exploring. Uh, let Eschelstadt help out here. Okay, these uh, Gershworms are giving 175, so that's something. Come at me, worms. Right, there's the downstair. Jeez. We are hungry. We should eat. So many worms. Thanks. There's a bloated leech. Um, and it is hostile. It's kind of hard to see sometimes with all the numbers when you're surrounded by enemies, but we're not really getting hurt. Neither is Eschenstadt. Oh, Snapjaw. What is happening? I do kind of wish I had, like, an area of effect ability. Do I have an area of effect ability? No. All right, back up. Just hide behind. Okay. Come here, Usher. Stop. Okay, we're okay. Everyone's fine. Somewhere around here. Ooh, uh... No worm corpse. Somewhere where there was a snap jaw that died. I don't know if it dropped. Oh, here we go. Man. Uh, run away from all the corrosive gas. I like that the sound gets like muffled as you go away. Marl broken. Oh, that's what the uh, that's what this is. Marl. Um, why don't we turn on the claws and dig over here? Nice. Turn off the claws. All right, turn them on again. I'm just gonna like, yeah, this stuff is really weak. Just gonna dig on through it. All right, auto explorer. I should probably just go straight down, but you never know. Sometimes there's some stuff. What? Where are you going? Are you running away? Where'd all these... Um... Worms of the Earth come from? Are we already hungry again? Can't cook with hostiles nearby. What hostiles? I don't see them. There's a campfire. Okay, auto explore. I think we've explored everything here. Okay, downstairs. Let's see if we want to kill this legendary bloated leech. 
Hopefully there aren't a lot more mirth worms down here either. Okay. Oh, engraved vase. Um, I put on auto explore and it looked at the space. Uh, Huxerse. Huxerse. Throughout the entirety of 4569 BR, Huxerse laid waste to all of Granary District Tazor, raining meteors down from the sky onto the settlements of highly entropic beings and apes. He became known as the Azure Bane of Tazur. And we learned the location of Tazor. Nice. Uh,. Let me shoot at you. Did we kill it? Yeah, I did kill it. It's just... Um, when you kill it, it makes corrosive gas or something. Um, I will turn my claws on. Okay. Nope. Uh, Alright. Impaled! Alright, auto explore. Okay. Thought maybe the door was attacking me for a second, but it was just the animation. Because that is the thing you need to worry about in case of cut is doors attacking you sometimes. All right, we do have some mirthworms down here, unfortunately. When you're lower level and they give you a lot of XP, they're amazing, and now they're just annoying, right? Um, the beetle bomb is fine. All right, auto explorer. I guess if I'm auto exploring, I should turn my claws on. Oh, all right, fire. All right, run back. Reload. Let's turn the claws on and auto explore. So many bones. So many worms. Uh, you cracked my gloves? Yep. Well, if any equipment actually breaks, we can repair it. I think that's the only thing that's cracked right now. My chain mail seems better. Man. Come on, worms. At least they're still giving me some XP. Very slowly getting to level 17. Okay. <sighs> Ooh. Um, I will take this. I guess I'll take the copper nugget for now. Not an exciting chest, though. An engraved vase, vase about Gisset. At the Battle of Sabiva, Gasset fought as a mercenary to subjugate cats. He wielded a foreign pistol with such artfulness, artfulness that it forever it became forever known as Foreign Cat's Blight. Well, that would be great to get. Um, foreign Cat's Blight. Can we find Foreign Cat's Blight? All right, there's the downstairs. 
we're almost done searching out this entire floor, so we might as well. Just in case there's a little bit of loot here. Stasis mine, disarm. Cool. Um, I guess I'll... What's that, like, paralyze people? I'm just gonna disassemble it. Okay. What's happening? Why am I not auto-exploring? Whoops. I keep attacking the walls, and I don't mean to be. Uh, where did I go? I camouflaged. Hey, Ashelstein. Oi. Yeah, come help. Man. I said we were almost done, but... How are you doing, Eschelstadt? Oh, you're perfect. You're just cleaved and bloody. I like that you confused all these mirthworms. And a great vase about Nasse. Uh, lost her prize, the periodic flame, the gift of frogs during the course of a conflict. Uh, the hamlet of Damrapod was so rife with stray portals to other places and times, it was renamed Periodic Decay. That sounds fun. I would love to recover that. Does the pistol that that last one talked about, does that exist? Is that an actual artifact in the game? It wasn't a color or anything. We didn't get a quest. All right. Let's 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 go down the stairs. Stop. Uh, here we go. This is just a regular bloated leech. But somewhere in here is a legendary one. And hopefully it is colored purple so that we notice it. Yikes. Eschelstadt may just attack it anyway. Because it will probably be immediately hostile. Ah, uh, these worms. You know what, Eschelstadt, you take care of them. Or most of them. Nope. Cracked my chainmail. These things are really good at cracking armor. I feel like I'm being less uh, talkative this episode because most of the time I'm just like trying to see the screen. There's so many worms on it. All right, we're healed. Okay, keep going. Keep it going. Oh, there's another downstairs. You know, let's just go down. What is going on here? What are you doing? That that's the legendary bloated leech. You're Okay, you're only loved by worms. You're just liked by a bunch of stuff. So, we can kill you. I'm going to start firing, actually, over this way. I'm going to fire at it. Fire. Uh, 
Reload. Special shot, can you kill it? All right, we're going to fire at it. It's fine. Reload. Um, I don't want to hit Eschelstadt. Uh, let me do empty the clips. Uh, fire. Fire, yeah. It's injured. Reload. We're not getting hurt much. We got the snail next to us now. Yeah, I'm gonna run back now. Fire. Wounded. Actually, stop. Where are you? Am I still, uh, am I still emptying the clips? I don't think so. I'm gonna go up. We are more hurt than I would like. Yeah, okay, Ashley, stop. Can you take care of that thing for me? Thank you. Great. All right, we are healed up. gonna attack oh wait what you're neutral all right i guess i could talk to you i don't want to do the water ritual with you though i mean we could make worms like us more what is our reputation with worms minus 475 um I don't think we care that much about reputation with hermits, which is neutral right now. And then the other two things are like are cults. Or there's Hava the Tree of Life, which is like, I don't know what that is. I feel like I want to kill you, though. Do, do bloated leeches teach you anything? I'm going to look this up real quick. Um, cud bloated... Leech. If legendary bloated leeches can teach you something amazing, then maybe we'll what a ritual with you. I don't know why this thing isn't. Um, but like we've been attacking it. I don't know why it's not hostile. I wonder if did Eschelstadt proselytize it? I don't know. All right. Uh, sorry. Looking it up. Um. Siphon Vim Night Vision. Those are that's abilities it has. Cannot be knocked prone. I don't know if it can teach anything. I don't think it can. I think we just kill it. Uh, and I'm gonna. Attack. There it is. We are now despised by worms. Hermits like us more. Hava, the tree of life, likes us more. Um, Hava, by the way, in Hebrew, is... Uh, it's the Hebrew word, like, uh, Eve, Adam and Eve. Eve's Hebrew name is actually Hava. It means... Uh, I don't remember what it means. <laughs> um... Cool. This cult uh, that would be hostile to us is now indifferent to us. What does Chava mean? Uh, hello. A telescopic module. Okay, I'll take it. All right, let's auto explore. Maybe there'll be some treasure down here. No regrets. Okay. Oh, jeez. Yeah, these things really love cracking armor. Yeah. more hurt than I would like. Okay. Ow. 
All right, we're doing better now. Was that an empty chest? It is an empty chest. healing up, trying... Okay. You take care of the master shot. Good. Alright, heal up. We are not hungry. Love to find some good loot down here. The reputation was nice. I am going to... Let me turn on my claws for... Oh, the claws don't really work with this uh, stuff. The plant matter. Alright, we gotta kill this thing. Okay, we killed the seed sprout worm. Oh, there's another one. Kill the electric snail. Jeez. It's wounded. Alright. 400 XP! Okay. That was worth it. Those snails are actually worth it. Um, I'll take the shotgun shells. I guess I'll take the carbide hammer for now. Nothing great though. Uh, what if I turn on dig? Yeah, still nowhere else to explore. Okay, that was it. Alright, let's go back up. Not great loot. I gotta say. But, you know, it was fine. We got some XP. We got some interesting reputation changes. Slightly. Um, can I, yeah, go to the fire. All right, let's fly, and now let's go to the libraries of Comritum. Uh, and here we are definitely going to hopefully get a bunch of books. Um, rifle turret, huh? Back up. Um, Eschelstadt, get it? Okay. Killed the ice frog. I think Eschelstadt's gonna kill that rifle turret before we can get to it. Um, a few rifle turrets. Love to fire at it. Nice! That was a musket one. Uh, because when we fire at them, we get a chance of disarming... We can get stuff that way. Got a fire at the ice frog over here. But it's confused now, so I'm just gonna... What's going on? Game. Kind of froze. What do we got? Uh, an empty water skin. Okay. Alright, you killed the ice frog. We got some slugs. Okay, I would love to find more. It would be good to find some turrets that had guns that we cared about that we could disarm. A lot of cannibals here. This is supposed to be a library. Where are all the books? Uh, we are hungry. What hostiles? Oh, all right. Fire at you. Just a musket turret. Hello. Eh. Cool. All right, turn on the claws. Start auto exploring. Ah. Okay. Um, fire.
Turn on the claws. Break through the fence. Alright, now fire. Nice. Uh, who are you? Bookbinder! Oh, and you're a bookbinder's bodyguard. Okay. Hi, bookbinder. Alright, so you have books to sell. I don't care that much about that. I mean, unless we killed you and your bodyguard for the books, which we could do. Very easily. I think. Let's explore, though. I didn't know library just meant bookshop. Mm. There's a downstairs. Let's check out the downstairs. And more downstairs. Now these guys really don't give us XP. But the ice frogs give us some. And turrets do. Um. Those are armor. Yeah, nothing's cracked anymore. We've got a 6 AV 14. Very high 14 dodge value. These cannibals are less annoying than the mirthworms, but give us even less XP. They don't give us any. Okay, now we got books. Whoops. Good. Glad there are actually books that we can just find. Cannibals are still a little annoying. Oh, here's Nasset. All right, we got a... What was it? Deep in the wilds of this library district, Nasset discovered Nash. Are we in Nash? There she befriended fungi and penned a, uh, an historical account. Fungi don't like us so much. Are they hostile to us? Fungi? Uh, I don't even see them on here. Are fungi not a fac fa faction? Um, cool. Uh, another thing about Reshef. Rebecca died of glot rot in this 2AR. Uh, he allowed her to be buried in the village of Ezra. Uh, beneath the shadow of the spindle. Very nice. Getting uh, f quite a few clues about Rashef. Uh, that was a nice frog. I should not have been quite so button mashy. Armor rack. Open it up. Crimson hood said leather armor. That's okay. Uh, hello, turret. A musket turret. Gotta get a little closer. Oh! Um, Eschelstadt just went ahead and killed it. That's okay. We didn't really care about the musket. I thought we were in the way of Eschelstadt killing it, but we were not. Okay. I think we just about explored everything. Let's go down again. We didn't find that many books, to be honest. Oh, hello. Ikat, legendary cannibal, leader of the flock of the Pest of Timor. Disliked by Badels, hated by the Mechanimus, disliked by the uh, villain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yet, this is, this is like this faction. So yeah, we're definitely killing you. Very excited about killing you. Yeah, now this village like us more. Mechanimus like us more. That's great, because we really wanted to get more reputation with Mechanimus. And Badles. Really nice. Alright. You didn't really leave anything of value. But that reputation alone was worth coming here. Uh, what do we have? <gasps> this is the periodic claim, the gift of frogs. Oh, wonderful. Nice. And we leveled up. It's a pistol? It's a pistol. It grants us Temporal Fugue at level 1. And it gives us reputation with, reputation with frogs. Um, 
amazing. Um, all right, let's clear out the people that are just in our immediate vicinity here. Okay. Let's unequip our missile weapons for a second. Okay. So, semi-automatic pistol is 8 penetration, 1d6 damage. Masterwork chrome revolver, 7 penetration, 1d6 damage. The same as the periodic flame. Is there anything else? So, other than the reputation with Fox, accuracy is medium. What's the accuracy with the Masterwork Chrome Revolver? Probably also be. Oh, it's low. So, it's better accuracy than this Chrome Revolver. Although, I will say um, the, addition, the higher chance to score critical hits is really nice. But we could make this Masterwork at some point. I don't know. In any case, it is better than. The Master of Chrome Revolver. So we'll equip the semi automatic pistol with it. But we now have Fugue, which is really cool. Um, I should put that. Oh, I didn't actually mean to do that. I just I didn't mean to make a Fugue. 181 turn cooldown. I wanted to change, I wanted to bind it. Um, hmm. What key bindings do I have? I don't have a control V. I want to do that because it's like pasting another copy of me. Okay. Well, we've got a few. I don't know how long it's going to last. It's just level one. But in a in a bind, that's going to be really useful. Just making a few whenever we want without having to spend a mutation on it. Just an ability we have now. Yeah, our fugue is already gone, but still really, really powerful ability. I don't even, that's not even why I, we came here. We came here for the books. And we got a really great artifact that really fits our character. Oh, I'm happy. Fugue is a great ability. It is very useful. Even level one Fugue, very useful. Um, the Fugue it creates, it's not that it's weaker at level one. It just stays around less time, but... Um, it can do a lot of damage in the rounds that it's there. Uh, I'm going to turn Claws on and then Auto Explore. Just in case. Okay. Go up. Uh, we could keep going down, actually. Maybe we'll find more books. We already found the artifact, though. Oh, frog. You know, the frogs used to freeze us, and we're not getting frozen anymore, and I think it's because of weathered. Um, which, what, is that an endurance skill? Yeah. I think it is. If I, if we look at, yeah, we get 15 cold resists, and I think that's preventing us from getting frozen. Temporary 2? Oh, because of our ego, it actually increases. It lasts for 22 rounds. Uh, so higher ego increases abilities that we get through items. That's interesting. Ego-based abilities. Uh, 232 skill points. I think we might want to save up for... I think I want to save up for the sh uh, for dual wielding. I think. Yeah. I think that's what I would like. And then offhand strikes. And this works for not just short blades, by the way. We don't have to do short blades. We could do long blades too or whatever. But short blades are, you know, they synergize with high agility. Which is what we have. Okay. In any case, I do. Uh, whether or not we do short blades, we want dual wielding musket turret. That's fine. Fire? A little closer. Nice. I like that we hit it with. Um, periodic flame is no more ammo. Reload. Okay.
Very cool weapon. It's not the best weapon, but, like, it's a weapon that, like, at this stage in the game, it's still better than our other pistols. Um, after treating with baboons, Gassade convinced them to help him found a laboratory in Spring District Shwazotum for the purpose of taking measurements of journals. They named it the Laboratory of the Time Worn. Neat. Okay. Definitely starting to feel better about going to Golgoth. Ooh, okay. You froze the stairs, but you didn't freeze me. Um, do we just go down the stairs, or do we keep exploring here? Uh, hello. I'm just ignoring the frog. Uh, no. A lot of ice frogs. Yeah, so we're getting loot here. All right, and we are getting some books. Yep, yeah, here, great. Oh yeah, great, fantastic. Good, 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 good. Based upon a piano. I'm going to turn claws on. Did I turn them on? Yep. There we go. Good for auto exploring. Okay. That's about that. I see a chair, though. Let's go to that chair. We're gonna bust through. Strange tubes. I broke them. Repair? Examine? Well, get them. They don't weigh anything. We definitely want to figure that out. All right, go down the next staircase. All these books are going to be lucrative. Uh, we'll be able to get a bunch of XP. Uh, we're overburdened, but hey, Eschelstadt, would you like some items? Um, strange tubes are... Yeah, why don't you take um, some of these weapons that we have? These stun rods. Yeah, take all those. Okay, that freed up a bunch. Nice. Uh, we got another... Oh, this is great. Goat folk would like us more. The Hindered Obey Law would really like us. Um, I'm getting hit by its quills. Eschelstadt is... Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm going to turn on empty the clips here. Actually, no. I'm going to fugue. Then I'm going to empty the clips. Which is control Z. Fire. Great. Goat folk like us a little better. Inner to Bela like us more. Great. We didn't have anything that amazing. What is this? Another artifact. This one is a shiv, which we were talking about how we didn't have great short blades. Um, it only does 1d3 plus 1 and 6 penetration, but it also gives us temporal fugue. I don't know if that stacks. Why do all the artifacts here give us temporal fugue? I'll take it. I mean, it's definitely going to be worth a bunch. Let's assemble all. Um, what is this? Graffiti table. I, all right, we should put in a cut. I'm really curious though. The shiv, if I equip it, 
we knew we do now have temporal fugue three. It did increase our temporal fugue. Yeah, it does. It increases it by one. Um, well, we're not. We don't have anything in these hands, so why not? Why not? Uh, the head hand is still the main one. We have a, one of our face hand. <laughs> uh, two artifacts in the same dungeon. Um, with just one episode. I think this is the last level. So let's... I know we're an hour into this episode. Let's try to finish this floor up really quick. Because this is it. Um, let's... Let's complete this floor. I don't think there's a lot left anyway. Um, but yeah, I mean, we will... This will be good for dual wielding. We definitely want to get dual wielding. Uh, da, da. Okay, and another clue about Reshef. A babe was found swaddled with its mouth full of circuits by a group of Beatles. That was Reshef. Mm -hmm. Cool Shrine to Bapur. All right. That was excellent. Um, really, really excellent. We definitely want to save up to get um, dual wield. I think that's what we want next. And that will give us flurry and offhand strikes. Um, which is great. We definitely want to get ambidexterity too. I think we want to get all these things. We have the agility for it. Um, they're all expensive. I should see if anyone teaches ambidexterity to weapon fighting, because we already can't learn dual wield by reputation. It's all a lot of skills. Um, and I guess the the last pistol skill is 400, but I feel like I want to not focus on that quite yet. I don't think it's as important as the dual wielding ones. And then maybe short blades? Maybe? Um, primary attacks? Uh, I don't care about that as much. Is it just primary attacks? No. Yeah, this would be... Some of these would be really good. All right, anyway. I, this is great. I'm so glad to be back playing this game. Um, I enjoy playing with you today, and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.